hardest part of all this, Paul, is learning that this is not going to be a short-lived thing. This is going to continue into next week, so you got to be prepared. Right, and part of the problem is temperatures overnight aren't going to back down to nearly the level that we're used to. Usually, we get some free air conditioning overnight, no matter how hot the temperatures are during the day. That's not going to be the case to nearly the usual extent over the next several days. The heat dome is going to remain locked in place over the course of the next several days. We'll put the maps in motion from tomorrow to Thursday and see the big picture features really don't shift around a whole lot. So the hot temperatures are here to stay into the 4th of July holiday and really throughout the entire 4th of July holiday weekend. Looking outside right now, really not even a hint of fog as we look towards the Golden Gate. Temperature downtown is 81 degrees, 86 degrees right now in Oakland after you hit the 90s earlier today. It's 99 in San Jose. You were above 100 earlier and temperatures in Santa Rosa, Livermore and Concord above 100 degrees. Santa Rosa at 104. It's not official yet, but that would be a new record high temperature for Santa Rosa for the second day of July. In Oakland, it's 86 right now. Temperatures will continue to back down, but it's going to be warm out there for the A's game this evening as they start a series against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Temperatures are going to dip down into the 70s by about 8 o'clock and then eventually into the upper 60s, but a much slower cool down compared to what we're used to for Bayside locations. And temperatures later on tonight really aren't going to drop too far at all, especially for inland parts of the Bay Area. Here's a look at tomorrow's forecast lows in the 60s in the Santa Clara Valley, really just barely below 70 degrees in San Jose and inland parts of the East Bay may not even get below 70 mid 70s around Antioch. So when the temperatures don't cool down that much, we're talking about the lowest point we're going to be by early tomorrow morning it means most of the night we're just going to be kind of coasting down to this level. It'll of course be much more comfortable along the coast and even San Francisco gets down into the upper 50s. Some spots in the North Bay may be lucky enough to dip down into the 50s as well, but those spots are going to be relatively few and far between. And again, that's one of the problems that we're facing. Temperatures tomorrow are going to be just as hot as today, if not even a little hotter in some spots, which means widespread 100 plus degree high temperatures on the hot end of the spectrum, 112 degrees in Fairfield, back up to 90 in Oakland, just above 80 degrees in San Francisco. Even along the coast, temperatures are going to get up into the low to mid 70s. So those are the actual numbers, but we can also categorize it just in terms of the heat risk, which is the threat of heat related illness, even for folks who aren't normally sensitive to the heat in terms of any health complications. It's it's going to be in the high category for most inland parts of the Bay Area, and these splotches of purple correspond to very high heat risk values, and that's going to be the case for the 4th of July holiday as well. There is just a minor little push of yellow, low heat risk, making its way slightly farther away from the coast, including into San Francisco, so maybe some relief a little farther down the line, but it's going to take a while for that relief to make its way farther inland. Tomorrow's temperatures are the hottest. That's not saying much. Even as we gradually back down through the course of the holiday weekend, the coolest day of the four day weekend in Livermore, it's still going to be 102 degrees on Sunday and temperatures next week are still going to be running in the upper half of the 90s. So this is a long stretch of hot weather and we still have to worry about that fire threat as well with low relative humidity levels today and the same spots that were troublesome today, especially in the Mayakamas range, are going to be seeing very low humidity levels and those offshore winds tonight and again tomorrow. Maybe some improvement as we head into Thursday and Thursday night, but the fact that it's 4th of July and there are going to be plenty of people who unfortunately think the laws of physics don't apply to them. Fireworks are going to be a major concern with dry fire fuels and very low humidity levels. Let's check out the seven day forecast and we'll start inland where it's just going to be hot. Again, the temperatures do back down slightly as we head through the holiday weekend, but even the coolest two days of the seven day forecast Monday and Tuesday next week still running in the mid 90s on average, and that's just unusually hot for this time of year. Even temperatures around the bay will also back down. The heat advisor goes all the way through Tuesday. Really, hopefully will be canceled early if we do manage to climb down into the upper 70s for highs by Monday and Tuesday. That's still above average, but it's much more reasonable along the coast, the heat isn't really going to be the problem. It's going to be all of the folks who live inland escaping the heat and heading for the coast. Be ready for some company if you live in coastal parts of the Bay Area, because a lot of people are going to be trying to get into those temperatures that are going to be in the 60s as we head into early next week. Guys, come for that natural air conditioning. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul, thanks.